All right, bring the stick. Let's go. Hensley, that's enough. One stick's enough. Come on. The violin. Oh, you can do a violin if you got two. All right, sure. We're heading to Rocky Mountain National Park, and today we're hoping to hike. We just drove around our last trip. We did a little better on time. It's uh, just after 9.30. We want to keep beating that, though. Because <laughs> i tell you what, I know Rocky Mountain National Park for sure, but most national parks, you want to get there early in the morning if you can. We're hoping to hike Bear Lake. Well, Bear Lake and around Bear Lake. There's a lot of their trails are around there. A lot of their, their easier trails, I guess which is probably one of the reasons it's packed. Yeah. <laughs> We've got no internet where we're staying, so that's why I'm in the passenger seat. <laughs> I've got to upload some stuff and get some stuff done with internet. <laughs> that just felt like we were in an amusement park instead of a national park. <laughs> Going through all the lines. You gotta wait in the lane of like eight cars and four lanes, and then once you get in, you don't know if there's even gonna be parking, so they've got shuttles taking you to where you go once you get there. I mean, it's just not what you think about when you think about a national park. Looks like we're gonna have to take a shuttle, saying everything's full. So. Jeez. Oh no. <laughs> no. We just need to. I feel like we're at Disney World. Get here early. <laughs> if there's even going to be. I don't know if there's parking to take the shuttle. about an hour and a half we'll be hiking <laughs> <laughs> there's about four spots left in this parking lot so I mean seriously if we were like 30 minutes later maybe even 15 I don't know if we got in a spot to park the whole thing about 10 o'clock yeah, yeah. Ride that bus. <laughs> okay, so we just got off the bus here. Um, we talked to a ranger. He recommended not spending the time to go around Bear Lake. So we're going to skip Bear Lake for now. And we're going to hit some of these other lakes. Dream Lake, Emerald Lake, Backtrack. Oh, and there's a... There's just lakes everywhere. Nymph. <laughs> Nymph Lake. We're going to hit Nymph Lake. It didn't take us an hour and a half on the bus. What do you think about an hour? By the time we waited in line, rode the bus, get off the bus, and actually got on the trail, probably about an hour. made it to Nymph Lake. This is beautiful. It's crazy to think that there's these little <laughs> lakes within the mountains like this. It just makes them even more special out here, I don't know. Pretty awesome. 
So this is Dream Lake. We're gonna stop and grab some lunch here. That's crazy. So this is Emerald Lake. It took us about an hour, maybe, with breaks and stopping and taking pictures and video and all that to get here, so. Um, yeah. Get you a stick. Oh, Hensley. <laughs> guess what? We may be after well positioned. The kid, the junior that is, will be down in a minute unless you'd like to take her to the up the road. We had to make a decision. There's uh, all kinds of lakes around here and you gotta kinda pick and choose how long you want your day to be, what you wanna see. We could either do a four mile day and only see three of these lakes, or we could do like a six mile day and see uh, four of these lakes. I'll let you guess which one Marissa wanted to do. So we're doing the six miles. We pondered doing, <laughs> you could do like nine miles and see like five lakes and a waterfall, but. We're not doing that today. <laughs> right? We're not doing that, right? <laughs> this is our compromise. Because uh, this is a, uh, I don't know how long this goes up, but. Yeah. The good news is this trail's way less crowded. Yeah, it's and it's shaded too, yeah. But it's uh. It's straight up. <laughs> it's more challenging than the other ones. And so this trail is like uh, Yaha. When you think the views don't get any better, <laughs> they just they just keep coming, man. It's You're crazy. Awesome. Yeah. The higher you get, I just can't believe it. To, uh, made it to Hayaha Lake. <laughs> Hensley's, uh, she gets squirmier the, the later in the, <laughs> in, the, in the day. Definitely beautiful here though. Did you have fun? Playground. <laughs> I don't need no playgrounds around here. This is your playground. <laughs> this is your playground. You're sleepy, aren't you? We're gonna hike back to the bus, then ride the bus to the car, then take the car to the campsite. Does that sound okay? Another one bus. Another one bus. You'll get your bus. So there's our car. Right over there. So we saw some pretty awesome lakes today. Some really cool hiking. We only uh, <laughs> just did a, a touch of how much hiking there is to do here. Look at this, this is amazing.
great day hiking. It's been a long day. <laughs> we saw some pretty awesome stuff today though. This is definitely a really great place to hike and just be outdoors. It's beautiful here. Just, you don't think of lakes when you think of you know, Rocky Mountain National Park, but the lakes are awesome. Yeah, we sure. saw quite a few lakes today. Yeah. That was kind of the the theme of our hiking experience. We kind of hit up, kind of hit up the lakes. So although this was like the Disney World of hiking experience today, it was so packed, and you had to ride on shuttles, and I mean, it was pretty pretty intense as far as the crowds. So now we're gonna treat ourselves to something cold. And Hensley did amazing. She did so good, so we wanna um, reward her too. She was such a trooper today. But she loves being outdoors and climbing the rocks and seeing the mountains. Ready for some ice cream, Hensley? Yeah? Ice cream. That's it. Doing double duty at McDonald's. See if we can get a, a Wi-Fi signal. And we're rewarding ourselves. Mm -hmm. 